21 years in prison for a crime they say they didn't commit, the ritual satanic abuse of children. Fran and Dan Keller say they were caught up in a witch hunt. And tonight, in their first television interview, they tell their side of this sordid story. A court ruled the Kellers did not get a fair trial, so they were released late last year after two decades in prison. Out on bond, waiting to see if they'll be retried. But a lot has changed since Fran's daycare in Oak Hill took in dozens of children between 1989 and 1991. That is the year three of those children accused the Kellers of physical and sexual abuse. A jury convicted them after a six-day trial and sentenced them to 48 years in prison for the aggravated sexual abuse of a child. But the doctor who gave the only evidence of abuse has recently recanted his trial testimony. They told me that Dan was accused of hurting a child and I knew that couldn't be true. He's not capable of something like that. It was like she said terrible. You couldn't say nothing. I felt like jumping up and saying look we didn't do nothing. I didn't think they'd find us guilty, but when they found us guilty, it just... My heart went from here to there. I felt sick. Even the courtroom, we were going down the stairs and I passed out. This is everybody's nightmare. How anyone can be accused of something so horrible. <laughs> And no, they didn't do it. It's unbelievable. The heartache. It's horrible. And then when you heard that sentence, 48 years. I almost collapsed. It hurt. And then after that, we left the courtroom and going back to the jail in that kind of like a hallway. Fran collapsed, and what really hurt, I couldn't go up to her. They said, get back, get back. I thought to myself, that's my wife, what's wrong? But I couldn't go up to that hurt. And you didn't see each other again for 21 years? What was that like? Hard. Oh, yeah. It was then, real hard. I don't know. It's, it's terrible. I kept in my heart what she looked like. Tell me what prison was like for you. You try to fit in. You try to get with the strongest groups for protection with this type of crime. It's bad. It's not something I'd wish on anybody, especially if they're innocent. It's hell to go through. Some of the guards, <clears throat> They treated me like trash. One guard said I ought to be locked up and tear gassed every day. What about the moment you found out you were getting out? <laughs> Big smile. I just smiled all the time. I just kept smiling. And then everybody knew. You're leaving, aren't you? I said, yes, yes. They pointed to me, and I, whew, tears came from my eyes, and I was happy. I got out just before him. So what was that like? When you first got out, she was there. Man, I saw a friend, and I, it, it, my heart lit up. Are you angry? I'm angry at the judicial system, how people hide evidence, how the juries don't listen, trash science, people that aren't experts. And all this put together, I'm angry at the system. I think it's fair to ask for a normal life because we've been through hell and back, and it's not right. I want it to be over, too, so we can go with on with our lives. Hope it's soon. I hope it's soon. The Kellers divorced in prison, but they say they are still very much together. They are living apart right now as they try to adjust to life after prison. Well, what's happening with the case now? It's still being reviewed by the Court of Criminal Appeals, right? It is, and I reached out to Travis County DA Rosemary Lemberg. She says she cannot comment while it's still in the appeals process, and we don't know uh, when that process will be over. But for a full breakdown of this case and an extended version of our interview with the Kellers, just go to this story. It's in the Investigate section at KXAN.com.
Kellerhouse.com. While the Kellers have not been completely cleared yet, we still wanted to know how often people have been exonerated in Texas through an open records request to the state controller's office. We learned in the last two decades, Texas has exonerated 94 people and paid out 64.6 million of your tax dollars to exonerees. The majority of those 36 are from Dallas County. Here in Central Texas, there have been one each in Travis and Williamson counties. We've uh, covered that Williamson County case extensively, of course, that of Michael Morton, who was wrong, wrongfully convicted of his murder of his wife. He spent nearly 25 years in prison before DNA evidence exonerated him. He was released in 2011, and the prosecutor in his case was convicted of contempt of court for withholding evidence.